Snakes are one of the most ancient animals living on our planet. They inhabit all continents except Antarctica. They're not on Iceland, Greenland, or Ireland either. Encountering snakes is never a pleasant experience and can even be lethal if the species is venomous. Although most snakes aren't venomous, it is the dangerous ones that are the most widely known. In today's episode, we will tell you about the most dangerous snakes. We'll talk about their behavioral traits and give a detailed description of each of them, as well as reveal facts about them which you could have never heard before. Coastal Taipan The Coastal Taipan, or Common Taipan, is one of the most venomous land snakes. Adults usually reach up to 2 meters in length, but there's a record of a Coastal Taipan that reached 3 meters in length. These snakes are diurnal and move incredibly fast. They attack prey with a speed of 3 to 3.5 meters per second. But these reptiles aren't famous for their looks, but rather for their venom. As we all know, animals need venom either to hunt their prey or to protect themselves from large predators or threats. It is impressive that the venom used for hunting works as quickly as possible. It is also important that it works on both small and large prey. If the snake's habitat doesn't have predators that can pose a threat to it, then the snake has a weak but fast-acting venom. However, this doesn't apply to the coastal taipan, since its venom is very potent. The bite of this snake can be fatal, even for animals as large as elephants, let alone for people. Taipan's venom is 50 times more potent than that of the cobra. The venomous teeth of the coastal taipan reach 13 millimeters in length and contain from 120 milligrams to 400 milligrams of the toxic substance in their glands. Given the amount of venom it has, the snake doesn't release large amounts, controlling the dosage. It usually releases about 40 milligrams of venom per bite, but even this amount is enough to cause the death of tens of thousands of mice, an average prey, or even a human. If a person gets bit by a coastal taipan, they have a few minutes to inject the antivenom, Otherwise, the bite could end up being lethal. Even a few milligrams of the toxin will have a detrimental effect on a person. When the venom enters the body, it exhibits a neurotoxic and a coagulopathic effect because the venom toxins block the work of neurons, which makes the transmission of nerve signals impossible. It paralyzes muscular contractions, which means that the respiratory muscles also stop working. When the human lungs stop working, their blood doesn't get enriched with oxygen, accumulating carbon dioxide. Moreover, the venom also affects the work of other internal organs, which all combined leads to death. Coastal Taipan is a very aggressive snake. It attacks at the slightest threat. King Cobras are less irritable than Coastal Taipans, but they are not inferior in many other things. Most Cobras don't just hunt small prey and rodents, but other snakes as well, and even the venomous ones. These snakes live in South and Northeast Asia. They often crawl in caves and climb trees. The length of the adult king cobra reaches about four meters, and some individuals even grow as long as five and a half meters. King cobras live for up to 30 years and continue to grow throughout their lives. King cobras can raise their head vertically, as well as up to a third of the front part of their bodies. They can also move in this position, in addition to their great length and low weight, which helps them hunt, the cobra's main weapon is their potent venom. Like the coastal taipan's venom, it paralyzes the victim, disrupting the functioning of its nervous system and affecting the functioning of lungs and other vital organs. King Cobra's hunt for other snakes makes an amazing and exciting duel. The prey snake tries to fight off the cobra, resisting the attack by trying to bite the predator's vulnerable spot, its eyes. But the king cobra's body is quite resistant to the venom of other snakes. Moreover, the king cobra's venom is much more potent, and it acts faster. King cobra's dose venom depends on the size of their prey, so they can inject several doses of venom in order to increase its concentration in the prey's body. King cobra can release up to 600 milligrams of venom in one bite, which is deadly even for animals as huge as the Indian elephant. However, there have been cases when king cobras were defeated, for example, in the battle of a python and a king cobra. The first one strangled the predator with its body before the king cobra had time to inject venom into the python. As was already mentioned, king cobras are rather calm, so if a person encounters this snake, it doesn't always have to end fatally. The most important thing is not to make sudden movements, breathe calmly, and stay at the level of the snake's eyes. 
King Cobra will most likely consider the person to be harmless and will crawl away. Black-necked Spitting Cobra These are types of cobras that can attack from a distance. They are the so-called spitting snakes. The most venomous of them is the black-necked cobra. It inhabits almost the entire territory of Africa. Adult individuals reach one and a half or two meters in length. When the black-necked spitting cobra notices the aggressor or the prey, they rise up, extend their hood, and shoot a powerful jet of venom directly at the enemy. The venom can reach as far as two meters away. When it gets on the skin, it causes irritation of various degrees, depending on the size of the victim, but it isn't lethal. Therefore, in order to make sure the enemy runs away or to secure a more lethal outcome, the black neck spitting cobra aims directly for the eyes. When the venom gets onto the mucous membrane, it affects the cornea, which causes severe burning pain, and if the dose is large enough, it can even cause blindness. When the snake is injecting its venom, it slightly shakes its head to ensure greater coverage. In addition, the black-necked cobra spits in several small portions. It can eject venom up to 28 times in a row, and its flight speed can reach 150 meters per second, while it uses over 130 milligrams of venom. Spitting is done by the contraction of special muscles that help push the venom out of the venomous fangs. Some types of cobras inject venom at a distance, only when they want the attacker to retreat. They hunt like all snakes by biting their prey. Belcher's Sea Snake Although most snakes live on land, they are excellent swimmers and they swim on a fairly regular basis. Many species even live in swamps, in the tropics, around water bodies, bogs, or they can inhabit areas with a very humid climate and difficult terrain. Some snakes can't dive, so they can't bite prey underwater. However, as you can guess from their name, sea snakes spend most of their lives in the water. Some of them are also venomous, and the most dangerous one among them is the Belcher's sea snake. The venom of this snake is rather potent. It is even more potent than that of the coastal taipan, and it's not even worth comparing it to the venom of a rattlesnake or a cobra. The Belcher's sea snake's venom contains toxins that destroy the victim's muscles. The length of these reptiles isn't very impressive, only half a meter to one meter. These snakes live in the Pacific Ocean, mainly off the coast of Australia, the Philippines, and America. They are very fond of reefs. These snakes easily hunt underwater, dive, and swim around. Like all snakes, they breathe atmospheric air. When hunting, they can hold their breath for as much as eight minutes. Spending most of their life underwater, the body of the Belcher's sea snake has become slightly flattened. This shape helps them swim better, performing the function of a large fin. Since the snake hunts underwater, their main prey is mollusks, fish, and various types of crustaceans. The structure of the body and the circulatory system of these creatures is arranged somewhat differently than in the land animals, so fish and other marine creatures can be resistant to snakes' venom. Belcher's sea snakes often hunts fish, which is why evolution gave it such potent venom. This snake rarely shows aggression towards humans, but even a small dose of its venom can be lethal. However, if the Belcher sea snake encounters, for example, a diver, it will try to swim away or hide. The most important thing is not to try and chase after it, and also get out of there as soon as possible. Eastern Brown Snake The Eastern Brown Snake, or Common Brown Snake, is native to Australia and Indonesia. Adults reach a length of up to 1 meter and 80 centimeters. It is unusually aggressive and extends its hood at the slightest irritation. As soon as an irritant enters its field of view, this snake immediately rushes to attack with no warning. The production of venom is a rather difficult and lengthy process for the snake's body, so most of them prefer to conserve energy and only inject venom in critical situations. A rattlesnake, for example, warns its opponent with the sound of its so-called rattles at the end of its tail. Some snakes try to use as little venom as possible in their defense, and some even shoot blanks, thus trying to scare off the attacker. But the eastern brown snake, on the contrary, injects as much venom as possible into the victim. Its venom is about 30 times stronger than that of the king cobra. Therefore, the anti-venom will only work if it is administered within half an hour after the bite. However, even doing everything right doesn't guarantee survival. It is this type of snake that attacks people the most in Australia. They often crawl into residential buildings, 
basements, and they also like to build their nests on farms. They usually do it with a single purpose, to hunt the house mice. Eastern brown snakes also feed on frogs, small birds, eggs, and even other snakes. So, do you know of any other extremely venomous snakes? Let us know in the comments.